It's fascinating how iPads have become ubiquitous among students, isn't it? But let's dive into the nitty-gritty of why, for certain tasks, the Surface Pro 9 might just edge out the M2 iPad Pro. It's true, iPads have definitely become a common sight among students. But when it comes to versatility and handling various tasks that mimic laptop-like functionalities, the Surface Pro 9 often takes the lead. Consider this scenario. If you're on the hunt for a device that seamlessly replaces your laptop and serves as your go-to companion for classes and library sessions, the Surface Pro emerges as the frontrunner. Its prowess as a full-fledged computer outshines the iPad in several key areas. Take, for instance, the freedom to download and run any application. With Windows 11 at its core, the Surface Pro opens up a vast ecosystem of software possibilities, accommodating niche or specialized apps crucial for academic pursuits. Meanwhile, the iPad remains confined to the App Store, leaving some users stranded without access to essential tools. Moreover, while the iPad boasts exclusive gems like Procreate for artists and creatives, it often falls short in matching the feature richness of their desktop counterparts. The Surface Pro's ability to run full desktop applications ensures a smoother transition for users accustomed to the comprehensive functionalities of their favorite programs. In the realm of web browsing, the Surface Pro's support for desktop browsers like Chrome grants access to a plethora of extensions, offering valuable aids like timers and grammar checkers that enhance productivity. While iPad's Safari does support extensions, Chrome's wider array and variety make it the preferred choice for many users. Ultimately, while the iPad excels in certain areas like portability and specialized apps, the Surface Pro 9 emerges as the preferred option for users seeking a true laptop replacement. Especially for those in fields like computer science where access to a wide range of applications is essential for academic success. When it comes to multitasking, the Surface Pro 9 unquestionably takes the lead, offering seamless window snapping capabilities through keyboard shortcuts or touch gestures. With the ability to effortlessly arrange multiple windows side by side, the Surface facilitates swift task switching and efficient organization of documents, lecture recordings, and notes. Whether it's snapping a lecture recording to one side and notes to the other or arranging assignment documents for simultaneous viewing, the Surface Pro excels in streamlining workflows. On the other hand, while the iPad OS 17 update has improved multitasking support, it still lacks the crucial feature of window snapping, making window arrangement a more manual and time-consuming process. Although swapping between apps is swift on the iPad, the absence of built-in window snapping means users must rely on resizing and rearranging windows individually resulting in a less fluid multitasking experience compared to the Surface Pro. However, it's essential to note that the Surface Pro's superiority as a computer is primarily due to the limitations of iPad OS rather than a lack of performance from the M2 iPad Pro. The M2 chip powering the iPad Pro delivers impressive speed and efficiency for tasks optimized for the iPad, while the iPad excels in tasks like video editing. The absence of professional-grade editing apps like DaVinci Resolve and feature limitations in apps like Lightroom and Photoshop hinder its potential for professional use. In terms of performance, the Intel versions of the Surface Pro 9 outshine the SQ3 variant, offering faster processing power and smoother operation, albeit with potential fan noise. Despite being pricier than the 11-inch iPad Pro, the Surface Pro 9 offers superior versatility and computing capabilities, making it a more viable option for students especially those in STEM majors who require access to a broader range of software and multitasking capabilities. In summary, while the Surface Pro May 9th come at a slightly higher price point, its superior multitasking capabilities, performance, and compatibility with desktop applications make it a more compelling choice for students seeking a versatile computing device. However, for those heavily invested in the iPad ecosystem or prioritizing portability over extensive multitasking, the iPad Pro remains a viable option, albeit with some limitations for professional use. When it comes to using the M2 iPad Pro and the Surface Pro as tablets, each device offers a unique experience catering to different preferences and needs. The iPad's touch-first interface is undeniably intuitive and user-friendly, making navigation a breeze. With its lightweight and slim design, carrying the iPad for extended periods is comfortable, making it an excellent choice for on-the-go use. The clean and minimal chassis adds to its portability, while the high-quality display ensures a pleasant viewing and writing experience. Face ID adds a layer of convenience to unlocking the device swiftly. On the other hand, while Windows May 11th be primarily designed for mouse and keyboard usage, the Surface Pro delivers a surprisingly robust tablet experience. 
The touch-friendly interface and well-sized UI elements make navigation effortless, albeit with a slight learning curve for those accustomed to Apple's ecosystem. The slightly heavier weight is balanced by the inclusion of a built-in kickstand, adding versatility for various usage scenarios. While the Surface lacks anti-reflection coating on its screen, adjustments and angle mitigate any glare issues. In terms of cameras, both devices offer adequate performance for capturing lecture slides and participating in video calls. While the iPad's back camera may have an edge in quality, the Surface's centrally positioned camera offers a more balanced aesthetic. The Surface's built-in kickstand and compatibility with attachable keyboards provide flexibility for different usage scenarios. Though some users may find the first-party keyboard lacking in stability. Conversely, the iPad's magnetic stand offers a clean and stable solution, enhancing both usability and writing posture. Additionally, accessories like the Magic Keyboard with a touchpad further bridge the gap between tablet and laptop functionality. Overall, whether you prefer the touch-first simplicity of the iPad or the versatility and productivity potential of the Surface, both devices excel in their respective areas, catering to a wide range of user preferences and needs. Handwriting digitally is a boon for students, especially when dealing with math equations, proofs, or diagrams. It's not only faster but also less cumbersome compared to typing, particularly when using latex. Additionally, annotating lecture slides becomes more convenient with digital tools. Apps like OneNote offer collaborative features and infinite space, making them ideal for note-taking. While both platforms offer good options for handwriting apps, the precision of writing is slightly better on the surface due to more precise tracking. Notability, exclusive to the iPad, offers a paper-style system and easy PDF export, catering to different preferences. The tracking performance of the Apple Pencil varies depending on the app. In Apple Notes, it's nearly perfect, providing a responsive writing experience. However, in third-party apps like Notability and GoodNotes, there may be a slight lag but still overall good performance. In OneNote on the iPad, tracking may feel inferior compared to other apps. The Slim Pen 2 for the Surface offers good tracking performance, particularly excelling in OneNote. Its two buttons offer convenience for actions like erasing or switching tools, which may be preferable to the Apple Pencil's double-tap gesture. Third-party pens for the Surface offer similar features to the Slim Pen 2, providing good pressure, tilt, and tracking. However, finding alternatives with all features for the Apple Pencil can be more challenging. Both devices offer hover functionality, with the Slim Pen 2 featuring a vibration motor for added feedback while writing. Despite differences in design and functionality, both pens provide excellent tracking and hover features, enhancing the overall writing experience for students. If you're someone who appreciates the productivity boost of dual monitors, the Surface Pro offers a straightforward solution by allowing you to connect an external monitor, extending your workspace seamlessly. Whether it's watching lectures on one screen while taking notes on another or multitasking with different applications, the Surface Pro's versatility shines through. On the other hand, the iPad, despite its recent ability to extend to external monitors, still faces limitations imposed by iPadOS. While it's now possible to use the iPad as a second monitor, the experience may not be as seamless or optimized compared to the Surface Pro. Additionally, using the iPad as a second monitor via sidecar with a MacBook introduces further constraints like a maximum refresh rate of 60 Hz and noticeable compression artifacts and input lag. While sidecar can be convenient for simple tasks like referencing documents, more demanding activities like coding may suffer from the laggy experience. Ultimately, while the iPad offers some capability for dual monitor setups, the Surface Pro provides a more robust and reliable solution for those who rely heavily on extended workspaces for enhanced productivity. As a student, it's essential to strike a balance between work and leisure, and both the Surface Pro 9 and the iPad offer unique experiences for entertainment. When it comes to watching shows, the 12.9-inch iPad's mini-LED display steals the spotlight with its superior brightness and true black capability making content visually stunning, especially HDR videos. While the Surface Pro 9 screen is comparable to the 11-inch iPad, it falls short in terms of HDR playback quality. However, both devices boast pretty good speakers, with the iPad edging out slightly in sound quality. The iPad's lightweight design and minimalistic aesthetics make it a convenient choice for lounging on a couch and immersing yourself in your favorite shows. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 9 offers a more versatile form factor, with its detachable keyboard allowing it to transform into a lightweight tablet without the bulkiness of convertible 360-degree devices. In terms of productivity and versatility, 
The Surface Pro 9 shines, serving as a capable computer and note-taking device. Its ability to handle a wide range of tasks, coupled with its portability and detachable keyboard, makes it a compelling option for students. While certain tasks may be exclusive to the iPad, the Surface Pro 9 offers a broader range of capabilities overall. Ultimately, both devices have their strengths and weaknesses, catering to different preferences and needs. Whether you prioritize entertainment or productivity, the choice between the Surface Pro 9 and the iPad ultimately depends on your individual use case and preferences. What are your thoughts on these devices? Let me know in the comments below.